Okay, uh, it is now my job to uh, tell you what I have been up to and what Nick Wolf has been up to since our last meeting in September. Um, Ashley Horn, who didn't get to introduce herself, Director of Programs and Policy at the National Council, will be talking to you about the social media training that we did in September and uh, announcing another training that we are aiming at mid-level staffers in our nonprofit coalition to enhance their um, skill sets. Um, in October, as a delegate from Virginia, I attended Vision 2020 in Chicago, uh, Drexel University's second women's constitutional convention that is organizing, educating, and lobbying for real equality for women by the year 2020. As part of the uh, National Women's History Museum lecture series, the past, present, and future of U.S. women's history, I had the honor of introducing Dr. Vicki Ruiz, Dean of the School of Humanities and Professor of History and Chicano Latino Studies at the University of California, who spoke about how Latinos and Latinas have helped to shape the direction of American culture and contemporary life. Along with quite a few leaders from the National Council, I was invited to address the Democratic Steering and Outreach Committee on Women's Economic Security and Workforce Participation. Uh, this session on the Hill was chaired by Senator Begich of Alaska and attended by 12 Democratic Senators, men and women, who heard how women workers are recovering much more slowly than men from the Great Recession. Uh, wearing my hat as president of the Women's Research and Education Institute, or RIE, I ran RIE's ninth conference on women in the military in October, featuring active duty service women, women vets, West Point cadets, academics, and activists. Among our speakers were the first woman in the military to win jet pilot wings, the first woman to command a surface ship in the Navy, the Navy's second woman diver, the first woman to command an army base, the first African-American woman to skipper a combat vessel, and a captain who has served in Afghanistan as part of the FETS, or FETS, female engagement team that liaison with women and men in villages outside the wire. On November 6th, I was at the national race to end women's cancer, hobnobbing with the occupied DCers at Freedom Plaza and speaking to survivors of below the belt cancers and their family and friends. And last week I provided an overview on women's health at the National Business Coalition on Health in Phoenix where I learned that it actually gets quite cold in the desert. <laughs> so that is what I have been up to and we're going to be eager to hear what you all have been up to.